Why do I want to close Attica? Because Attica represents all that is wrong with our criminal justice system. Attica is a place where men had to put their lives on the line for basic human rights. And if that symbolizes anything, it symbolizes injustice. So closing Attica is a call for justice. I'll just say that Attica is America's Abu Ghraib. I'd like to see an end to a nightmare that um, you have thousands and thousands of people in prison for nonviolent offenses um, for years and years completely distorting their character enormous number of people in prison for selling marijuana in Switzerland the maximum sentence for, for murder is 17 years and they have a much lower crime rate than the United States so go figure that I do have a beautiful dream I'd like to see Mumia Abu Jamal riding a bicycle down Avenue A any bicycle. You can have mine. Locked in spaces that become normal to them. Um, that are completely abnormal and weird. You know, with strange uniforms and strange buildings under strange rules and turn them into strange people. Have you visited prison? Uh, I've been there. Six days, but that was enough. The real criminals are in the Pentagon and the imperialist warmongers and the big banks. We need to overthrow the system and have it run by the working class. Tear down the walls. What do you think about Attica? I think it should be shut down because of all the tragedies that occurred there. It shouldn't have been able to last this long. It should have ended some time ago. So we're asking Governor Cuomo to shut down Attica for many reasons about the racism there, the unfairness and the treatment of the prisoners that are there with this maximum security. And he said he didn't want prisons at, used as jobs and employment. So therefore, this is his time to to follow through with what he, how he feels and make sure that that prison is shut down for many reasons. Too many people were hurt and harmed unnecessarily 41 years ago. We'd like to see Attica shut down. It's been there way too long. People are subject to violence. The population is mostly black and Latino and the guards are white. And there are abuses, there are sexual abuse, there's a total lack of health care, there's mental health, but just a little smithereen. And there's a shoe, solitary confinement, where they put people in little cages, and then they bring them out in their little cages to go for their mental health, which to me seems a little insane, a lot insane. And it's a disgrace to have a prison like that. It's a disgrace to have a lot of our prisons, and it's a disgrace to have hundreds and thousands of our fellow Americans who are primarily black and Latino locked up. So that's why we're here, and we're asking Governor Cuomo to close Attica.
prisons. No more of that disgusting stuff. Like, Shut it down! 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 Shut
historic Riverside Church. The historic Riverside Church in Harlem. The historic Riverside Church in Harlem. To demand. To demand. An end. An end. To mass incarceration. And to mass incarceration. And to demand. To closing down America. For those of you who don't know. For those of you who don't know. Governor Cuomo could order, could order the closing down, the closing down of Attica Prison. Attica Prison. We're here to demand, we're here to demand that Governor Cuomo, that Governor Cuomo do the right thing. Do the right thing. That he close down Attica Prison. That he close down Attica Prison. Today is only the first step. Today is only the first step. We're gonna be back again and again. We're going to be back again, again and again, again. until yes, Attica again. is closed down. Until Attica is closed down. Until Attica is closed down. In a few minutes, in a few, few minutes, minutes several of us are going to go down. Several of us are going to go down across the street, across the street, and up to Go Governor Cuomo's office, and up to Governor Cuomo's office to deliver the first batch of our petitions. To deliver the first batch. We are expecting many, many more. We are expecting many, many more. But this is the beginning. But this, this is, is the beginning. beginning. Thank you all for coming out. Our numbers are going to grow and grow. Yeah. Thank, Thank you all for coming out. out. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. Attica Brothers, under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. Attica Brothers, under attack. What do we do? Stand up, fight back. As we said, there's been a long history of problems and abuse in Attica and people organizing to stop it. Our next speaker is part of the second generation of that family to deal with this issue. And in her own right, and in her own right, she is also a legal freedom fighter. She is also a legal freedom fighter. Who has defended the community's efforts. Who has defended the community's efforts. To fight mass incarceration. To fight mass incarceration. And other issues in this generation. And other issues in this generation. Bring up Sarah Puntzler. Make some noise. Who wants my side?
like that one. Attica means fight back. 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 We're next going to hear from. We're next going to hear from. The leader. The leader. And facilitator. And facilitator. Of a campaign. The campaign. That has been raising the issue of mass incarceration. Most recently raised. Most recently raised by Michelle Alexander. By Michelle Alexander. But for sure spoken about. But for sure spoken about by many others for years before. By many others for years before. But that book has taken fire. But that book has taken fire. And has inspired a campaign. And has inspired a campaign. And so we want to bring up from that campaign to end new Jim Crow. And so we want to bring up from that campaign to end new Jim Crow. Lewis Webb. Lewis Webb. Make some noise. Attica means fight back. Attica means fight back. Attica means fight back. They ask us why we're here. They ask us why we're here. Attica symbolizes. Attica symbolizes the worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. In America's criminal justice system. In America's criminal justice system. Eric Attica reminds us. Attica reminds us of just that how humane, how inhumane. Of just how inhumane we can be. We can be. Attica required, Attica required 40 men, 40 men to put their lives on the line to put their lives on the line for basic human rights. For basic human rights. How inhumane, how inhumane, how inhumane can we be? Can we be? On September 14th, on September 14th, about 10 days ago, about 10 days ago, over 2,000 people, over 2,000 people, were in solidarity, in solidarity. Listen to messages, listen to messages from some of the greatest leaders, from some of the greatest leaders to end this injustice. Some of the words we heard, some of the words we heard, included, included from Jazz Hayden. That prisons are cages for humans. That prisons are cages for humans. And all prisoners want is to get out. Is to get out. And for that reason, and for that reason, we must close. We must close Attica. Attica. We must close. We must close Attica. Attica. We heard from Mark Lamont Hill. We heard from Mark Lamont Hill that Attica represents. A system that has destined our children to prison. The school to prison pipeline has kids not for college dorms, but for prison cells. It prepares our children not for prosperity, but for probation. School to prison pipeline. School to prison pipeline. There's one more reason. One more reason why we must. Why we must close Attica. Close Attica. We must. We must close Attica. Close Attica. Dr. Cornell West. Dr. Cornell West. In his own way. In his own way. Delivered another message. Delivered another message. He reminded us. He reminded us that the prison industrial complex. That the prison industrial complex is tied to corporate greed. Is tied to corporate greed. And until we are prepared. To put an end to capitalism, we will continue to have Atticus. And therefore, capitalism must end. And Attica must be closed. Michelle Alexander. Michelle Alexander challenged us. Challenged us to move. To move. To move in a way. To move in a way that will end mass incarceration. That will end mass incarceration. That will build people up and not break them down. That will build people up and not break them down. Angela Davis. Angela Davis gave us a vision. Gave us a vision. A vision of no prisons. A vision of no prisons. A vision in which. A vision in which. We respond to each other. With love and kindness, not punishment and retaliation. And it is for these reasons that Attica must be closed.
means. Attica means. Fight back. Fight back. Attica means. Attica means. Fight back. Fight back. Attica means. Fight back. Attica means. Fight back. Fight back. The reason why I want to get us fired up. The reason, reason why, why I want to get us fired up. Because we wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. If it hadn't been for the Attica brothers in '71. If it hadn't been for the Attica brothers in '71. We wouldn't be here. We wouldn't be here. If it hadn't been for the Attica brothers who are there now. If it hadn't been for the Attica brothers who are there now. And in between those two. And in between those two. We have Attica brothers. We have Attica brothers. Who have been there recently. Who have been there recently. And survived. And survived. And are here with us now. And are here with us now. So I want you to show all the love you have. So I want you to show all the love you have. No, I said all the love you have. No, I said all the love you have. For Attica brother. For Attica brother. Joseph Harris. Joseph Harris. Joseph Harris. Joseph Harris. I was in Attica. Monthly. Monthly. Black, white, or Latino. Black, white, or Latino. Was killed. Was killed. By correction officers. By correction officers. In Attica. In Attica. There was a warden. There, there was a warden. In Attica. In Attica. When he tried to walk through the block. When he tried to walk through the block. The A officer. The day officer. Told him to get the hell out of the block. Oh, told him to get out hell out of the block. And he's the warden. And, and he's the warden. the warden. How can he be the warden and he can't do his job there? How can he be the warden and he can't do his job there? Because of racism. Because of racism. That's why we have to shut Attica down. That's why we have to shut Attica down. Repeat, we have to shut Attica down. We have to shut Attica down. All right, give it up for Joseph Harris. We don't consider ourselves legitimate. We don't consider ourselves legitimate. Unless we have among us, we have among us and, in the leadership, and in the leadership, in the leadership those, who those who are incarcerated and those who are formerly incarcerated. And while we hold them all high, we hold the highest of all those who have been incarcerated because of their political beliefs but also because of their political actions against a system that would oppress people and jail them rather than the perpetrators of this vicious system and our next speaker is one such person. Show love and solidarity for Laura Whitehall. Attica means. Attica means. Fight back. Fight back. So I want to bring here. So I want to bring here another Attica brother. Another Attica brother who's still in Attica. Who's still in Attica. But who loves everyone here. But who loves everyone His here. His name is Jaleel Muntakim. His name is Jaleel Muntakim. And when Attica, the Attica Rebellion happened, and when the Attica Rebellion happened, he was already in prison. He was already in prison for being part of the Black Liberation struggle. For being part of the Black Liberation struggle. And he's still locked up today. And he's still locked up today. And he will be very happy. And he will be very happy the day that Attica is shut down. The day that Attica is shut down. And for people who say, and for people who say, well, we can't shut down Attica. Well, we can't shut down Attica because it would cause overcrowding. Because it would cause overcrowding in the other prisons. Shut them all down. We say, we say, reduce mass incarceration. Reduce mass incarceration. Let long-timers out on parole. Let long-timers out on parole. And end the prison system as it exists. And I want to say one more thing. And I want to say one more thing about political prisoners. There are six or seven political prisoners. There are six or seven political prisoners in New York State now. In New York State now. And they have been locked up. And they have been locked up for 30 
and 40 years. For 30 and 40 years. They were part of a wave. They were part of a wave. A brutal repression. A brutal repression. Against struggles for human rights and liberation. Against struggles for human rights and liberation. And we see that happening again today. And we see that happening again today. And it's called mass incarceration. And it's called mass incarceration. Two wings. Two wings. Of the same strategy. Of the same strategy. Until prisons are empty. Until prisons are empty. There will never be justice. There will never be justice. There will never be human rights. There will never be human rights. There will never be a decent society. There will never be a decent society. In this country. In this country. Free all political prisoners. Free all political prisoners. And mass incarceration. And mass incarceration. And shut down Attica. And shut down Attica. Shut down Attica. Shut down Attica. Shut down Attica. We have one more speaker and then we're going to be delivering the petitions and we'll give you the particulars. Some organizations take the short view and do good work making change in the here and now. Other groups take the longer view while also working under the short view. And so we have next speaking and so we have next speaking. And give it up for. And give it up for. Sharon Eolis from Workers World. Make some noise. Woo! Prisons are concentration camps for the poor, as we know. We have to take note of the fact 2.5 million people are incarcerated. We have to take note of the fact that 2.5 million people are incarcerated. And. And that the U.S. has more people in prison and the U.S. than any other nation in the world. Than any other nation, nation in the world. world. And this is human rights violation. This is a human rights violation. And it's necessary to end mass incarceration. And it's necessary to end mass incarceration. No to solitary confinement. No to solitary confinement. No to and to life sentences. And to life sentences. We have to fight back. We, we have, have to fight, fight back. back. Close down Attica. Close, Close down Attica. Fight back. Fight and back. back. And mass incarceration. And mass incarceration. Let's go on to petition Governor Cuomo and demand to close down Attica. Let's go on to petition Governor Cuomo and demand to shut down Attica. I believe the children are our future. I believe the children are our future. They teach us well and we let them lead the way. They teach us well and we let them lead the way. So we are going to let one of the children show us all the beauty they have inside. We're going to now learn from Isabel, who is not only in the fifth grade, but she's been in the Mumia Coalition. To quote her, all her life. Make some noise for Isabel. Ever since I heard about Attica, ever since I heard about Attica. To sickness. I've been disgusted to sickness. Nobody should be put in a cage. Nobody should be put in a cage. Especially people who have not done anything. Especially people who have not done anything. When I was young, er, younger, younger. No, she's young. <laughs> I used to think that Attica. Used to think that prisons. That prisons. We're meant for rotten. We're meant for rotten. I never liked prisons. I never liked prisons. Because I went in one once. Because I went in one once. To visit a dear friend. To visit a dear friend. Who was in isolation. Who was in isolation. We all know this friend. We all know this 
friend. Mumia Abu Jamal. Mumia Abu Jamal. When I went there, when I went there, I was completely depressed. I was completely depressed. Guards were looking very suspicious. Guards were looking very suspicious. And the people in jail were very sad. And the people in jail were very sad. When I saw Mumia, when I saw Mumia, he was banging on the glass very happy. He was banging on the glass very happy. When I I did not understand. I did not understand. Why people would let this happen. Why people would let this happen. Like Attica. Like Attica. And prisons. And prisons. All prisons should be gone. All prisons should be gone. Especially Attica. Especially Attica. Thank you. The future is in good hands. We can relax our grip. And let the young ones grab hold. And let the young ones grab hold. It's a good day. It's a good day. It's a really good day. It's really good day. So we wanted to close with Isabel. So we wanted to close with Isabel. But we have one more speaker. We have one more speaker. Who made a grand entrance. <laughs> right, right at the end. And he is not only a freedom fighter. And a former prisoner, but now potentially a political prisoner in his own right for trying to shut down the process by which the NYPD all over the city stops and rounds up men and women of color. To send them on the pipeline that gets them to Attica. No introduction needed. Needs to be shut down. Needs to be shut down. I'm speaking not just from a human point of view. I'm speaking not just from a human point of view. I've been there. 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 And I suffered there. And I suffered there. And those that died there. And those that died there. For the most part, for the most part, were my friends. Were my friends. We tried to organize in Attica. We tried to organize in Attica. To bring about change. To bring about change. And the state's response. And the state's response was murder. Was murder. On primetime TV. On primetime TV. Although many years have passed. Although many years have passed. 41. 41. <laughs> this is still. A thorn in the side. Thorn in the side. People like us. People like us. Attitude needs to be closed. Attitude needs to be closed. There needs to be no compromise. There needs to be no compromise. We're closing Attica. We're closing Attica. It's only the first step. It's only the first step.
under attack. What do we do? Stand up like that. Under attack. What do we do? It was decided that they would only let in three. They would only let in three. We compromised. We compromised. And we decided. And we decided that Suzanne, Suzanne, Sarah, Sarah, and Joseph Harris, the Attica brother, and Joseph Harris, the Attica brother, would represent our cause. Would represent our cause. While we stand here. While we stand here to continue to deliver. To continue to deliver the message that. Attica must, Attica must be shut down. Be shut down. Attica must be shut down. Attica must be shut down. This is like the uh, General Assembly. This is like the General Assembly. This is the Attica General Assembly. Of unoccupied Attica. Unoccupied. Of unoccupied Attica. Unoccupied. So who are we gonna hear from? satirical songs. The Raging Grannies sing satirical songs, songs about the raging issues. About the raging issues. And I didn't bring my song. I didn't bring my song. But I'll try to remember part of it. But I'll try to remember part of it. Okay, ready? Which prison industrial topics? We have two. We have two. Okay. From, you can help me with it. From the cells of Rikers people upstairs know that we got their backs know that we, we got, got their, their backs and to make sure and to, to make sure that they're released back to us that they're released back to us in the same condition they went upstairs in the same, same condition, condition they went upstairs make some noise <laughs> who's next from the general assembly let's hear it. come on I'm always focused all right all right 
Hi, my name is Bob Letterer. Hi, my name is Bob Letterer. And I'm from the WBAI Justice and Unity Campaign. I'm from the WBAI Justice and Unity Campaign. And also from Resistance in Brooklyn. And also from Resistance in Brooklyn. We just want to say. We just want to say that we totally support. That we totally support the campaign to shut down Attica. The campaign to shut down Attica. And end mass incarceration in this country. And end mass incarceration in this country. Attica has a 41-year track record. Attica has a 41-year track record of brutality and institutional racism. Of brutality and institutional racism. Everyone should read the report. Everyone should read the report. Put out last year by the Correctional Association. Put out last year by the Correctional Association. Go to correctionalassociation.org. Go to correctionalassociation.org. They document in detail. They document in detail. Based on on-site visits to Attica. Based on on-site visits to Attica. A horrific track record of physical abuse. A horrific track record of physical abuse. Sexual abuse. Sexual abuse. Denial of basic human rights. Denial of basic human rights. And a, a system of racism that's been entrenched for decades. And a system of racism that's been entrenched for decades. Attica truly is. Attica truly is. To use their phrase. To use their phrase. The worst of the worst. The worst of the worst. And that's why it needs to be shut down now. And that's why it needs to be shut down now. So let's stay with this fight until we win. Let's stay with this fight until we win. This is the Correctional Association Report. This is the Correctional Association Report. And you really got to read it. And you really got to read it. The reason why I give it wrong. The reason why I give it wrong is because it was based on surveys of those who were incarcerated. Because it was based on surveys of those who were incarcerated. It's a primary source of information. It's a primary source of information. Not second hand. Not second hand. And from the people who were affected. From the people who are in They interviewed 269 men in, 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 in Attica. They interviewed 269 men in Attica. Easy for me to say. Easy for you to say. And they also looked at... And they also looked at... A whole bunch of other prisoners. A whole bunch of other prisoners. Interviewing over 8,000 incarcerated people. Interviewing over 8,000 incarcerated people. So they're getting the information straight. So they're getting the information straight. Straight. And I urge all of us to take a look at this report. And I urge all, all of us to take a look at this report. And circulate. And circulate. And thank Bob for summarizing. And thank Bob for summarizing. So, the People's General Assembly. So, the People's General Assembly. Of unoccupied Attica. Of unoccupied Attica. Continues with the floor open. Continues with the floor open. people. I'm able to teach younger people. Had he not been murdered
I feed my students. But it gives me hope. But it gives me hope that we're still here protesting. That we're still here protesting. So thank you for coming out. So thank you for coming out. Free Mumia Abu Jamal. Free Mumia Abu Jamal. And all political prisoners. And all political prisoners. Our group. Our group. In a form that is not censored. We experience censorship. We experience censorship in all the places where we work. In all the places where we work. As illustrators. As illustrators. It is rarely called censorship. It is rarely called censorship. It is rarely admitted that it is political. It is rarely admitted that it is political. But we understood it as political. We understood it as political. For the, from the first moment we experienced it. From the first moment we experienced it. Therefore, we understood that we needed a collective. That, that we needed a collective. Needed a collective that we control. That we control. And therefore, we were able to publish. And therefore, we were able to publish the work of Mumia Abu Jamal. The work of Mumia Abu Jamal. In the early 80s. In the early 80s. Thank you. I'm not letting him off the hook yet. My check. My check. I'm not letting him off the hook yet. I'm not letting him off the hook yet. Because I did my first reading through comic books. Comic books were a big influence on my life. Comic books were a big influence on my life. But instead of learning about superheroes, but instead of learning about superheroes, none of which had any melanin on their skin. None of which had any melanin on their skin. Oh, pause for the cause. Pause for the cause! Right. First of all, I'm safe and sound. Yes, they are. Okay. We have not been tortured or locked up yet. We have not been tortured or locked up yet. And Isabel is here with us strong as ever. So, the person we had an appointment with, the person we had an appointment with, was head of the mail room. And that person is not here today. And that person is not here today. Because she's observing the Jewish holiday. Because she's observing the Jewish holiday. And we wish Governor Cuomo would take the message of Yom Kippur.
Equality. Who were at the rally on September 14th? Who were at the rally on September 14th? And I told them, and I told them that this is a serious movement. That this is a serious movement which has thousands of people right now behind it. Which has thousands of people right now behind it. And it will grow and grow. And it will grow and grow. And that they had better meet with us. They had better meet with us. And the fact that we're all working together, the fact that we're all working together, means that in the long run, means that in the long run, we will win. We will win. We will win. We will win. Venceremos. We learn from the Cubans. We learn from the Cubans. We learn from the Venezuelans. We learn from many, many struggles around the world. We learn from many, many struggles around the world. That when you are right, that when you are right. And you keep on fighting. And you keep on fighting. You will eventually win. I check. I check. I check. I check. We want to hear from the rest of the delegation. The rest of the delegation. So we'd like to hear from Joseph Harris, who's holding those petitions for dear life. Holding those petitions for dear life. Very valuable. What we are doing. What we are doing. Is getting people to become aware of the racism of the racism of the racism of being a bad in prison. The racism of being a bad judge in prison. Especially some that not even done nothing but are still there. Especially those having done nothing who are still there. Peace. Peace. Last thing. Woo! Give it up for Joseph.
talk about some of the other ideas that are around. So that we advance. So that we advance. Every, every time we take an action. Every time we take an action. The conference call. Conference call. Yes. It's scheduled for October 3rd. October 3rd. Wednesday. Wednesday night, Wednesday night. Wednesday night at 8 p.m. At 8 p.m. Please join it. Yeah. Join, join it. it. Come with your ideas. Come, Come with your ideas. ideas. Your suggestions. Suggestions. And your commitment to work. And your commitment to work.